Hey, Shango, how are you? Hey, Brillo. Hey, Van. How y'all doing? Hey, Mr. Yosh. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Y'all come in here. I want to talk about something. One of the guys just unalived themselves. Hey, Determined, how are you? Hey, Judah. Hey, homegrown. Hey, Sarah. Gio, how are you? How you been? Hey, Jamie. Hey, Hitman. Yeah, y'all come in here. I want to talk about something. One of the guys just unalived themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Can y'all see me? Is it freezing? Because I'm in Utah right now, so the reception hasn't been too good over here. Thank you, Sarah. I love you back, Seven Keys. I love you back. So, yeah, so one of the guys just called me, one of my friends um, in California. We've been friends since we were like 10 years old. And, um, yeah, one of the guys, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. One of the guys unalived themselves. And the reason why he did it is because his wife was divorcing him. And on top of that, she wasn't allowing him to see the kids. So, and, um, it's, um, it's, it's, it's extremely sad. And it's also, I want to talk about how mental health and substance abuse plays a role in our guys unaliving themselves. Hey, Rob, how are you? Um, so what happened was, um, yeah, so he, he had, had you know an off and on an, an intermittent uh, alcohol problem okay thank you rico you're in atlanta i know i'm i'm in utah right now i was in vegas i'm in utah i'll be back um i, I think you said you leave next week but yeah um i will text you i'll text you after i get off so that way we can um we can link before you go back i love you damien for those of you that aren't following uncle damien please go follow him Please go follow him. That's that's one of my guys right there. Super dope individual. He's he's one of the selfless people I know on the planet. He does so much work for the community, for the youth, for families. Like he's just an all around uh, activist and and, and, and great hearted person. He just really is, y'all. Please make sure you go follow Uncle Damien Speaks and support anything that he has going on. Um, but yeah, so what happened was he, um, he, he ended up having, um, an intermittent alcohol problem and, um, and, and he started drinking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Damien. I appreciate you. I love you. Um, he ended up having, um, you know, an alcohol problem to where he was going back and forth with it. He tried, he went to rehab a couple of times and, 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 you know, for whatever reason, it just didn't work. And so his wife ended up divorcing him. And, um, but also on top of the divorce, she was keeping the kids away from him. So, um, yeah, he, he unalived himself, um, a couple of days ago, uh, by hanging. Um, and, and, and it's so sad because as much as yes, he was battling the alcohol problem, um, the root is even deeper than that. You know what I mean? Because even though he was battling an alcohol problem, and I don't know all the the details of everything, but I really I, I just don't feel like and unless there's violence involved, I don't feel like children should be kept away from their parents, you know. And so, um, uh, like I said, he he tried to go to rehab a couple times, and it just you know it it didn't stick good enough to where you know um, uh, where he was able to stop. And so, uh, and, and ladies, you have to understand something like as much as you want to, um, blame the man for different things that go on, you have to understand that, um, 
even though he may have a substance or alcohol problem, um, uh, and yes, it may be his own issue and his own demons, if you will, to to deal with. What what role are you playing in it? If you don't feel like you can stick with him through it, if you love him and care about him, then you'll still help him get the help that he needs. And I'm not saying that this was her fault, but at the end of the day, like I, I would like to know the details as far as what she was doing to help him get through it as his wife. Okay, um, so um, so for the guys out there that are struggling with, with substance abuse or, or, or alcohol abuse, please make sure that you are doing whatever it is that you need to do to be the healthiest that you can be. Um, and ladies, and this is the other thing, ladies, what happens, what happens is a lot of guys, they will have certain outlets that they, that they tend to gravitate towards, whether it's fishing, whether it's, uh, uh, going out shooting, whether it's, um, uh, video games, like sometimes what happens is you will complain about the outlet that he chooses so much to where, to where it actually drives him towards a substance, you know? So ladies be mindful, like be mindful of how you are, um, uh, dealing with this man because because this is the thing like that there's so much that they're going through and they don't have outlets and they don't have support systems and, and if you're married or you guys are in a committed relationship you are supposed to be their support system because why else are you guys in relation with one another if, if you're not going to be one another's support system um and, and some of you ladies, what happens is you will you will bash him or 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 um, uh, uh, belittle him based on the outlet that he chooses, and, and and as long as it's not hurting anybody or hurting you, like why why are you steadily uh, 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 bashing him and pummeling him over the head with words of disregard and disrespect? Okay, based on something that is helping him to have a better mental space. Okay, um, because I know a lot of ladies, they sit up there and say, oh, well, he, he's not a kid. Why is he playing video games? It's not about that. It's not about that. I don't feel like there's ever, I don't, I don't feel like anything is, is, is childish when it comes to an outlet that a man has. So what if he wants to play a video game? That doesn't mean that he's a little boy. That just means that his mind is wired a certain way. It's wired a certain, and yeah, yeah, exactly. It's horrible. It is mental abuse. His mind is wired a certain way and he likes certain things. Just because he plays video games doesn't mean that he's a little boy. Doesn't mean that he's immature. That's, that's, a, that's an outlet, right? I know, Rob. That's an outlet for him. So we, we'd rather, exactly, exactly, to decompress. He doesn't have to worry about paying bills. He doesn't have to worry about being there for you emotionally. He doesn't have to worry about uh, providing. He doesn't have to worry about certain things. It, it's an escape for him. So, and, and then as far as, you know, guys that like to be, a, like, that like to wire like a video game. So, so and, and some guys may like to go to the shooting range. Some may like to go fishing, but even some, even on a long ride by himself. But some of you ladies are so controlling and so jealous to where he can be on an outing by himself or with some of his buddies. And y'all, what do y'all do? Y'all say he's cheating or he's not there for you. You always turn it around to something that has to do with you. What about what he needs mentally? And a lot of y'all that sit up there and complain about that, Y'all ain't even there for him physically. And you know what I'm talking about. Y'all y'all be disregarding him in the bedroom time after time after time after time. And on top of that, you don't want him to have an outlet? You're not taking care of him emotionally. He can't even get you to cook him a meal. And, and sometimes y'all will cook a meal, but then you sitting up here on the internet bashing him. You're talking bad about him to everybody. It's getting back. Do y'all know that some of that stuff that y'all be saying really gets back to them and they know that you're talking about them and they don't even never bring it up? I know because I deal with it. I hear it. It's ridiculous. Y'all can't sit up there 
and 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 bring up stuff that 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 he does when you're not really taking care of him the way you're supposed to you 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 talk about all the bad things that he does but yet all the good things that he does go that you just sweep them underneath the rug so what is it that he does good ladies I, I want you to get a piece of paper for those of you that have a spouse for those of you that have a significant other Get a piece of paper and write down the pros and the cons, the, 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 the stuff that you love that he does, the stuff that irritates you. And when you look on the side of that irritation list or stuff that you don't like, ask yourself, does it really matter or is it really important? Because nine times out of ten, it's the fact that your ass is being controlling. It's the fact that your ass got something inside of you that you need to deal with. What is it? This is the thing. What is it that he is doing so bad that just drives you over the top? You mad because he, he leaves his socks. He, 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 don't, he don't do laundry. What is it so bad that it matters so much that you will sit up there and talk about him and belittle him and not support him? What is it? I want to know. I want to know what it is so bad. If any of you ladies are on here that have a problem with the stuff that your man does, please jump in the box with me. Get, get on live with me because I want to hear like what's the most the most gruesome, like what, what is it? Because nine times out of 10, it doesn't even matter because if that man was gone five, five minutes from now, your ass would feel so horrible. Most of y'all would, most of y'all would. What is it that he does so bad that, that, that you got to talk bad about him and that you can't support him and that you degrade him and belittle him and use him and abuse him and defile him? What is it? What is it? What is it that he does? A lot of y'all sit up there and y'all just be so jealous of your own man. And it's sickening and it's sad. Y'all are jealous of your own man. That's crazy. Get a hobby. Find something else to do besides being up his ass. And most of y'all that do that, you don't even realize that the reason why you be trying to stay attached to him so much is because you didn't have the proper nurturing as a kid. And that's that PTSD and that's that trauma that you need to work out within yourself. It ain't even got nothing to do with him. It's the fact that you need to get some help. You either going to journal it out and pull yourself out of that emotional pit or you're going to get somebody, a counselor, a therapist or somebody that can help you work through that. A lot of y'all just want to be up his ass because you got this attachment issue because you did, wasn't nurtured as a kid. Deal with your shit, girl. Like, for real. And yes, it takes work. But if you really care about this man and you really want to uh, be great moving forward, then you'll do the work that, that, that you need to in order to move forward in greatness. Not only for yourself, but for your person as well and those around you. Like, what are you doing? If you're not helping somebody, like this is my motto, y'all. If I'm living and breathing and I'm not helping somebody, uplifting or encouraging somebody, then what is my life worth? Like a lot of y'all think that everybody around you is supposed to just cater to you. You think you always write about everything. You don't want nobody to call you out on your shit. You don't want to fix your shit. So then wherever you go, my grandma will say, wherever you go, there you are. Wherever you go, there you are. Instead of finding fault in the stuff that he does, write down on a piece of paper all the stuff that you feel like you need to fix within yourself and start working on that. Start working on that. Instead of always trying to pick him apart. Everything he say, you pick apart. Everything he do, you pick apart. The man can't have no hobby. He can't, out, can't go out with his boys. He can't go nowhere without you. That's a you problem. Hey, Mia, how are you, sweetheart? That's a you problem. You causing this man to have anxiety. You causing him to have depression. You causing him to have uh, panic attacks. And, and, and a lot of y'all, y'all, he, he's going through health problems and it's due to you. Hey, top floor. He's going through health problems and it's due to your mouth. It's due to the way you treat him. Hello? Y'all got to stop. This is ridiculous. It really is. So you mean to tell me that the stuff that he does is so unforgivable, but yet you still stay with him? You still with him. You still stay with him. But yet you, every five minutes, here you go talking bad about him and to him. 
If he's that damn bad, then leave. If that man is that damn bad, then get the fuck on. Because there's somebody out there for him. Nine times out of ten, he chooses to deal with your shit. But yet on the other side of that, you can't. You feel like you can't deal. It's the end of the world. Oh, my gosh. He does this. He does this. He does this. But he chooses to deal with your bullshit. How? Get some staying power underneath your belt, ladies. A lot of y'all will sit up there and, and, and run instead of working things out. It's sad. And, and on another note, stop keeping that man's kids from him. Like I said, if there's no violence towards you or them kids, stop keeping them kids from him. That don't make no sense. Just because you bitter. Hey, Shamila. Just because you bitter. Just because you mad. Just because you he don't want to be with you. Just because he got somebody else. Just because you 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 jealous of his 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 career and his and his and and, and his um uh, 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 yeah, but for real, like you, you jealous of that man that has spent his time trying to help you. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And for those of you that sit up here and make excuses for yourself, oh, I wasn't raised to, um, help a man. I wasn't raised to be a woman like that. Okay. I wasn't either, but guess what? I taught myself. You ever heard somebody say they're self-taught? I'm self-taught to be this way because I'm going to everything that he does towards his goal and his purpose and his call is going to irritate the fuck out of you. I agree, top floor. Everything that he does toward, towards uh, uh, the betterment of himself or y'all's family is going to irritate the fuck out of you when you don't know who you truly are and don't know what you want in life. And stop marrying and dating for his pockets y'all sit up there y'all y'all be so obsessed with horrible things let me let me let me just say this because if everybody be like oh well social media is doing this to no your ass is doing this to relationships if, if it's not good for your spirit then stop following them type of pages stop looking at that type of content social media ain't ruined ain't ruining relationships your ass is ruining your relationship stop following certain pages stop listening to certain people Y'all be following all kind of bullshit so you don't know which way to go because you got this over here coming in. You got this coming over, coming in over here. So you, you be up and down, up and down, up and down in your relationship because you steady saying some shit from this side, some shit from that side. If it's not conducive to your relationship or yourself being better, then stop following them type of pages and stop looking at that type of content. You can follow great things on, on, on social media. You can learn things on social media exactly protect your eye and your ear gaze that's i don't i don't follow certain pages i don't i don't look at tv i have not had a tv in my room y'all for over 10 years I, I don't i don't i don't i don't need that because of what i do spiritually because of what i carry in the spirit i have to be very mindful of what i allow in but y'all 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 don't understand y'all don't understand y'all be sitting up there and y'all, hey, Greg, how are you? Y'all be sitting up there. Y'all be marrying men for their money. You marry men for their clout. You marry men for who they're connected to. You be trying to get with somebody for what they got or what kind of car they drive. Do you know how many men have, have luxury vehicles, but they ass ain't got no money in the bank? You sound stupid and you look stupid. Are you dating his pockets? Are you dating his wallet? Are you dating his car? Are you dating him for him? Y'all be so worried about what kind of car this man driving, how much how much money he makes, that you don't even know if he's a good person or not. A lot of y'all sat up there and set y'all stupid asses up because what you did was you dated his pocket and you dated his wallets, and now he's a trashy ass dude to be slapping your ass around, dummy, dummyana, dummyana. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't know why. 
I don't know why that person, they'll say some good comments and then they always end up saying some stupid shit. I'm too pretty to be frowning. Don't let them exert in. Don't let me exert energy. I'm passionate about what I do. I don't know why. She, I don't know why. I don't even know if that's a man or some off the wall bullshit. Like, bye. But yeah, y'all, y'all, it, it's got to stop, y'all. It don't make no sense. Um, but yeah, all right. I gotta get out of here, y'all. I love y'all. I will talk to y'all soon. I'm in Utah right now. I'll be in Vegas. In the next few hours, I'll be in Vegas by this by this um, evening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this live up. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Excuse me. Love on the people around y'all because they matter. All right. Talk to y'all later.